be making bases. What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Ever J Music, owner of Be Making Basics, and we're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Also, go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment if you like the content. Now, today's video is going to be all about showing you what you could do if you're getting a system overload message when you're trying to make beats or mix in Logic Pro 10. Now, I have a session right here up. Let me turn this guy off. Um, basically, let's just say, hypothetically, if your system is overloading, these are some things that you could first off do. The first thing you want to do is make sure you don't have a whole bunch of other programs running. So I could come over here, you know, click off of calendar, click off of Spotify here, um, click off this splice, this everything, you know, you don't want a whole lot of programs running. Because what's, what's happening with the uh, system overload is basically is, you know, you have too much stuff that the uh, computer is trying to process all at once. So that's what the whole issue here. The next thing you want to look into is um, your overall buffering, your buffering size. So what you can do is go to uh, preference, uh, excuse me, preferences, go to audio. And if you go over here to your buffer size, um, like having it over here at t the highest buffering size is fine during mixing, but when it comes to recording, you want to move this about midway around uh, 256. 256, you probably shouldn't have ho a whole lot of issues. So just select that and click on apply. Okay. Uh, again, all we did to get there is go to Logic Pro 10 at the top under preferences, audio and then change the buffering size right there you know like i said you can play around with these sometimes depending on how slow or fast your computer is but for the most part this 256 works great um, another thing that you're going to want to do is freeze your tracks now what freezing your tracks is going to do is pretty much going to bounce these down these all these midi, midi files down and, and treat it as audio okay Quick way to do that, the first thing you want to make sure you do have selected here, you go to Logic Pro 10, uh, go to preference, um, yeah, preferences, and you want to go down to advanced tools. You want to make sure all your um, advanced tools are enabled. So you can just click on enable all, and there you go. Now, after you do that, what you want to do is you could just hold down control and if you want to do, go, then scroll down to uh, track header components and make sure that freeze is actually selected. And now if you look closely here, there's like a little snowflake and say, you know, this track right here is giving you trouble. You can pretty much freeze it. You know what I'm saying? You can freeze all of these and you can't record the track. You can't edit the track. You can't do anything like that. But what you can do is you can play it back and it will, you know, significantly, you know, fix this system overload message that's coming on. Now, when you push play, that's when it's actually going to freeze the tracks. It's actually going to put it into a process of freezing the tracks. Since this is, you know, a long a video here, I don't want to do it too much, but I'll freeze this one. So I'll, put, see, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just push play. And now this track is frozen. If I don't want it frozen again. <laughs> turn it off okay but those are pretty much the main things and I'll say the last thing you want to do if you're tr if you're if your um, session is still overloading okay you're still getting that system overload message is go ahead and export all of your MIDI files to audio okay it's very simple to do that if you push command shift and E on your keyboard then it's gonna take you over here to this right here where you can track out your beat these are some tips that you could use in order to avoid system overload. Once you track out your beats or um, export them to audio, what you could do is do a new session. Okay. Um, do a new session. And then you can just drag your tracks right on in here. So I can come over here. Let me see. Find those. And I can just drag them in here. And that's going to significantly stop your um, your computer from crashing or from, you know, doing a system overload. 
And you know, another key thing here is with with audio, it's not as much. It doesn't take as much to process the audio. You know what I'm saying? Like think about what a MIDI instrument. You have all the different settings of that particular instrument, plus is loading it from a sound bank and different things like that. Whereas with audio, it already has all the effects processed on that particular track and different things of that nature. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this video, man. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all being subscribed and following my content. I promise I will be um, you know, posting as often as possible. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and end the video. But if you have any questions or comments, man, please make sure you hit me up. Hopefully this helps y'all out. If it does or doesn't, just let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace.